Good job, Peter. Good night. Grandma, it's Peter. I was wondering if you were gonna pick me up. Call me back. Hey, Judy, uh, I just got off work and I was wondering if you can give me a ride. Okay, uh, great. Um, I'll see you soon. Okay, bye. Hey, Judy. Thanks for picking me up. I could not get in touch with my grandma. Oh. I talked to her just this morning. Oh, but doesn't she leave for Bermuda today? Ugh. Why doesn't she tell me things like that? Like when she dropped me off at work. I just don't think my grandmother's very nice sometimes. Oh, I think she's pretty nice. Well, you're wrong. Hey, you got a lot of boxes in your car. Well, I am moving, Peter. Oh, yeah. Hey, Judy, I'm pretty hungry. Uh, you want to go grab something to eat? I would, but I just had dinner with my dad. Uh, I, I could take you somewhere. I don't really want to go somewhere and just have you watch me eat. Hmm. We could go to Frankie's Fun Park. Oh, Judy, that sounds like fun. They have a lot of options there. Yeah, that's a great idea. And we could play mini golf. <laughs> that would be fun. Judy, I have to worry you are very good at mini golf. I'm extremely, I've been playing for a very long time and I'm great at it. And if we play, you're probably going to lose. Let's go. So how do you like your new job? Ugh, oh, Judy, I hate it. It is such a downer, and my boss has such a sour attitude. If, if it keeps going the way it is, I'm going to have to quit. Peter, your grandmother told me about all the money you lost. I just don't think it's a good idea to quit so soon. Just give it some time. Judy, have you ever heard the phrase, don't knock it until you try it? It's just not a job for a creative, free-spirited individual like me. You really might like it, though. It's actually sort of perfect for you. <laughs> well, I'm sure you'll learn to like it, too. I'm sure that won't happen. Well, what about your new resume? Can't you use that to find a job that's more tailored to your interests? I'm sure it just takes time, Peter. Judy, I've been looking for writing jobs around here, but there's nothing. It's like they're outsourcing them all. Hmm. I don't know. You know what you could do? is move up towards Pennsylvania and find a job that's close to me. It would mean you wouldn't live with your grandmother anymore, but that might not be so bad because you two don't always get along. But Judy, I put down a lot of roots here. It would take a lot for me to leave South Carolina. Well, not only could you find a job, you would get to still live near me. Yeah, it's not quite enough. 
Well, what would it take, Peter? What do you have here that's keeping you tied down? I don't want to make a list or anything right now. I mean, let's just go play mini golf. <laughs>